please thank God for this day. As you can see, myself and my team, we are in Vangula village to meet the elderly where we are donating some foodstuffs. And one thing that I want to tell you or to speak to your life, child of God, uh, if God bless you or if God increase your life in glory, you should always remember the needy in society. It is time we need to go out there and identify those that are in need of our help. God has no legs, he's using your legs to go out there. As a Christian, as a child of God, you must always pray to God to say, God, open my eyes that I may be able to see people that I need of my help. From the beginning of my ministry, God's covenant ministries and the poor Moses ministries, this has been the source of my strength, the source of joy. Giving is a true foundation of Christianity. Giving is a true foundation of love. Without giving in ministry, that ministry is questionable. Without helping the needy in life, that ministry is questionable. As you can see, we are here as a team with my partner to see the people and the community how they are coping especially in this time of uh, coronavirus we are here as a church we are here as a ministry and this is the instruction that god has given me god has instructed me to go to the needy to build lives so it is time that even you you can do it as a child of god you don't need to have much you don't need to have a lot for you to be a blessing you can still be a blessing even from the small things that God has given you. So as we remember, child of God, go identify the elderly, identify the people that are in need of you. I speak a blessing, I speak the glory of God over your life. Child of God, it is time we need to do what is right. I encourage all pastors, all the churches, I encourage everyone out there. I encourage you people who are working. Maybe you are not a pastor, but you are working, you are a director somewhere, and you are able, you can support someone. Identify an orphan. Go to them. They are your relative. They are God close to your life. You cannot love the God you have never seen. It is time we need to love our neighbors. Who is your neighbor today? Child of God, look at what is happening. This, this one is your neighbor. May God bless you. May God continue to increase you. To all my partners and those who are joining the ministry, especially the ministry of uh, Paul Moses ministry where we, we go out there to touch lives, I want to encourage you, it is for the wise. Remember, love is never love until you give it away. May God bless you in just name. I'm your friend, your partner in the Lord, Paul Moses, by the special grace of God, the general overseer of God's covenant ministry. May God bless you. We need to stand with the government. We need to stand with them, to support them, because they cannot manage on their own. That's why the church is there. So we stand with the government to go in our community and to identify the people they cannot identify. Because there are a lot of people that the government cannot identify. So it is our duty. That's why we have come to this place today in uh, here in Chifuangula area in Chief Mungule, Chibombo district. May God bless you all. May God bless the nation of Zambia. May God bless the leaders of Zambia and also the government of the day. Shalom, shalom. Amen.